Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Freedom and in this 86th video of PTG Creo Parametric. If you want to follow our complete course, then do check out the complete playlist that I have added in the description of this video. Now coming back to today's topic, which is advanced surfacing or officially we can say interactive surface design extension. In our first video of style command or style tool of ISDX, we spoke about the interface of ISDX and some additional tools now available in this toolbar. For example, now we have four views. Then uh, we do have this active plane orientation and then the orientation that will keep on flipping the orientation and this visual mirror. And if you are new to ISDX, then I would suggest you just check out our first video where we discuss about all these. Okay, so now let's come back to this video topic, which is curve. So we will see how much we can cover again i also do not want to make this video too lengthy and before actually i start curve let me also talk about one tool that uh, we did not discuss in our last video which is internal plane so i would say internal plane is a kind of embedded plane that you can build without leaving this style environment so if i click here on ok so this plane that we have just created is only available inside this style tool okay so as i enter inside style i can see this plane as i clicked on ok and exited from style you do not see that plane so you can create a plane that is only applicable inside the style tool okay so this is kind of i would say embedded plane the way we used to also create in other feature in the same way here also we can create and why somebody would like to create this plane let's say i need to draw a curve in this plane so what i can do is i can uh, you know draw first of all obviously this plane then um, i can select this option which will change the active plane from this one to this and you will realize that how i recognize that this is the current active plane so as soon as i change the active plane here you can see this grid view now being located or now being transferred to this plane okay so now uh, let me start with curve so if i hit here on curve here you will see a we can form curve in ptc creo parametric style environment in a three way first one is free curve so you just need to specify a few points and then you can form a curve so this curve here you can see is does not lie or rely in this particular plane um it is completely on 3d and it is not even parallel to this plane right as we can see here now let's say you have drawn this curve and now how can i edit it so in order to edit this curve first of all here we can see we are forming a different level of model tree here so all we need to do is we need to go here in this model tree and then click on curve and now uh here we can make necessary adjustment and here we can see the control points so all we need to do is we need to simply drag it simply press the left mouse button and keep on dragging it and in this way guys uh, we can adjust it okay if you want to drag it like uh, normal then uh, we can press alt button and then uh, we can drag it like this okay and whenever we will drag it from its original position here you will see the previous position and new position which i really like that also kind of shows how much change we are making and whenever you know we work in 3d i generally like to do that kind of work in more than one view so let me click here on this show all view and now let's say if i make any change in one view it seems like 2d but here you can see um in these different different views we can see what changes we are making okay so we are making change here like this and you can see the preview how up uh, in other view or you know when we see the same entity from other location how will it change so that's really awesome guys and let's say you are working in this view so you can always uh, make the size large now not only you can control your curve like this uh what we can do we can also use control point so all we need to do is we need to hit control point now here you can see these are control point and with the help of them you can control your curve okay so in this way also you can work with it okay 
so I would say it is up to us uh, which one we like and then um, we can also increase the degree that will give us even finer refinement so it, it is kind of you know increasing the number of control point we have and in this way we can further fine tune it okay so I would say this is one way of creating curve and here you can see it is completely in a three dimensional space now let's try to make another type of curve uh, which will be curve on a plane and for that first of all let me change the active plane so now this time I have chosen this plane as active plane okay now again I would click here on curve and this time instead of free curve I'm gonna choose planar curve okay now let's try or start making this curve so now uh, you will see this curve is plotted on the active plane nothing is outside okay now again let's uh, click on curve edit and again we can control this curve using these points or we can use control points and then uh, we can add further more points based on our requirement okay so in this way guys uh, we can create a planar curve now let's again hit okay and now if i uh, click on okay again here you can see these are the two curve we have created using style tool now uh, let me again go back here to style and this time what i'm gonna do is first of all let me stop uh, the multiple view and now uh, what i will do is uh, let me try to add a curve uh, i would say a freestyle and then i will press shift and this will basically snap uh, this as a starting point of curve and probably I'm gonna end it here so this as a end point of this curve so here you can see in the 3d space uh, we have perfectly connected these now let's hit ok so here now you can see we have perfectly connected these two curves together okay now again let me click here and go to edit definition again let's say I do not want to connect this curve to this line what I can do is again I can press shift and then again I can press my left mouse button and can disconnect the curve so it is that easy guys again let me go back edit definition again press shift and let's connect it again so that you know we can make sure that we are forming the connection and this circle kind of ensure that we have formed this connection now uh, let me again choose another curve and let's again I'm gonna press shift key and uh, we have completed joining these okay now again um, let me again select curve press shift key and join these both from here and probably uh, what I'm gonna do here this time again go to edit definition control point and I will play with this curve I will try to make it like this similarly uh, I also would like to change this um let me again add control point and make it like this also what i can do is i can control the way these both curves are connected okay so right now uh, it does not form any tangent now let's try to form surface so let me click here on surface and now i'm gonna select uh, these uh, chains one by one okay so this is the surface and let me also add internal chain that will further control the surface so in this way guys we can utilize these curves now here we have formed the surface and you can see how difficult it is when we try to form this kind of intricate profile when we are working with a normal surfacing tool now let's see a one more type of curve which is curve on surface okay so I'm gonna select this curve on surface and now here let's go to reference and I'm gonna select this surface okay and now uh, let me select a plane now let's select curve on surface now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna provide a reference that this is the surface on home on the top of it I would like to form the curve now let me place these points here and let's again click OK and now again let me go to edit definition now we have option to further refine or control this curve so now you will see uh, the curve that we are forming 
is entirely over this surface no matter where you take it will always be over this surface okay so i would say this is also sometime very important let's say uh, you would like to add this point here so we can see uh, we have added this point here so sometime we need to form or we need to place a curve over the surface and in this way guys uh, we can do this and now let me press shift button and if i take this to the end yeah you can see we were also able to snap it till the end and let me also again press shift key and uh, with the help of home i can place this uh, this end also to the edge let me now hold this one and let's place it to the edge and um, one more kind of confirmation i would say whenever we are choosing the edge here you can see this is turning to circle which is kind of you know indication of that we reach to the edge or we have successfully connected to the edge and with the help of home we form this surface and we also saw how we can form a curve that is within the plane or known as planar curve then we also form another type of curve which is curve on surface so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam for more such video related to engineering topics and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye